On everybody, it's Jimmy Perry here from Powerlifting. That website, your go-to resource for all beginning powerlifting information. And today, I'm here to answer a question, or it's a question. That was the weirdest thing I've ever done in my life. Not really, though. I'm very weird. Which is, is the bench press bad for your shoulders? And I also added some stuff in on how to stop the bench press from being bad for your shoulders. Uh. So yeah, let's get right into it. Wait, without getting into it, let's also not forget to check out the Black Book of Parliament. And I'm, I made it free if you sign up for the website subscription list, uh, but it's not. It's 99 cents. Check out the new store. We're adding products. We're going to be adding products every day. It's basically powerlifting. It's branded products. Um, follow the business and myself on social media and subscribe to the page. Subscribe to the page. Now, you guys might not know who I am, but I'm going to make a video on that. And I'm no one yet. I mean, I'm someone, but I'm, I'm no one yet. And I understand that. I'm cool, though. And I like power. I love powerlifting and business, so that's why I'm doing this. But yeah, so is the bench press bad for your shoulders? First off, I mean, yeah. It, depending on your body type, yeah, but I didn't add that in here. The bench press can be bad depending on how, like, the joints connect to the sockets and all of that nonsense. Uh, for me, it was bad because my I was messing. I'm right now. I can I have like a pinch nerve like that right there, and then I have another one right here. I'm still working on getting around that. Well, you can't see it, but I'm still working on getting around that. It hurts like hell. Well, it doesn't really hurt. I just realized one day I had it. But um, so yeah, depends on how your body is structured. Um, for me, like people with my build, I'm assuming it's not good for you. I know, like for myself, I was messing my shoulder up on a regular basis. Well, I was before I started warming it up and stuff, which is something I mentioned in this article. Um, it can be bad for you depending on how your body's structured. Uh, for me, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's very shoulder intensive. You would think it's more so tricep and chest, chest, but it's not. It's really front delt, like the anterior delt, is very um, shoulder focused. So, yeah, it's bad for your shoulders. It grinds away at it, which is why people have bad joints in their shoulders a lot after they bench. Like those people bench like 700, 800 pounds. 800 pound bench is crazy, but 700, 800 pounds, they have like they're messing their joints up. But we're power lifters, so that's the whole thing anyway, right? But, um, yeah, so how do we save the shoulders? Well, we can get handoffs. I'm not going to go over these. You can check the article out. We can get handoffs, which is when basically someone picks the bar up and hands it off to you instead of you getting it off of the rack yourself. Uh, we can do something other than the bench press. I do dumbbell bench. Well, not bench press, but I do dumbbell bench presses because they help me build up my shoulders. And it's not like the, the way I can position the dumbbell is different than the I can I can bench without being in an awkward position um do board presses board pressures uh limit the range of motion so we're not hitting our shoulder well we're getting the effects of the bench but we're not going deep and we're basically not uh putting as much pressure on the joints um next is we can warm up the shoulders so I'm, i didn't do i used to hate warming up but now i do it because i hate being in pain at least unnecessary pain like working out is cool but Pain for like no reason. No, it's not, I'm not doing it. So I warm up your shoulders. I, I do a little uh things to open them up to get that external rotation. Not external rotation. Get open them up. Uh, open uh open them up. <laughs> Sorry, it's one in the morning. Uh, an example of someone else who did this. Well, there's a guy. I can't remember his name, but he called himself the Kabuki Warrior. And he does like mace swings. It does the same exact thing. It opens up the joints and gets everything all warm, gets the blood flowing, so that when you bench, you're not benching on a cold joint and muscle. Next thing is do a variation of the bench, which is kind of what I did: boy presses. But like, I, you can use the um, Swiss barbell. You can use. Uh, you can do close grip benches, which try hit target the shoulder, but it's not as wide. Wide benches put a lot more pressure on the shoulder. Uh, inclines, whatever, just yeah. Oh, and another one is take a few, take some time off of the bench. Um, that's what another thing I did when I kept like tearing my shoulder, like not tearing it, but I would hear it, like I would hear a pop, and sometimes I would like feel it, like when I went down, I would feel like that. I would hear a pop, and I would feel something like rip, even though it wasn't ripping, and I would be in pain for a long time, so I stopped doing it. And the bench, I thought, at first I thought I couldn't, like, I shouldn't, I should just stop benching, but it wasn't that, it was just that my body, like, I was bad form, and it was just, mm -mm. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you like enjoyed what I'm talking about. And subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Next, you'll see me at the next one. Peace.